Well, describing my feelings about cheese are like describing my feelings about music or about the sun coming up. I think it's just a part of who I am and it lives with me because of all the people I've met in that journey. So the cheese is just not on my plate. The cheese is brought to me by the Mount Belliard cows or the cheese is brought to me by the copper vat or the cheesemaker's face that I can see during that journey. It's just incredible that four ingredients could speak so many languages. That it can taste like flowers, that it can taste like nuts, that it can taste like rain, that it can smell like socks, that it can smell like honey. It's just incredible how you're able to influence all of those things through those ingredients. Every year you, you continue to learn and as long as there's an opportunity to learn, you're never satisfied. I just don't buy from people that bring products into the United States or sell them through distribution. I go and source and I go and meet the farmers, I go and meet the producers. Being able to be on the ground and understand how healthy the animals are, the richness of the feed that the animals eat every day, and how that translates into high quality cheese. The cheesemaker is the chef that is able to bring all of that to the table and that reflects in your palate. And if the cheese speaks to me, the personality of the cheese and the flavor comes through, then I wanna learn about it. Then I'm gonna ask those questions and really try and understand it more. But first of all, that flavor and that personality has to come out. The majority of Americans grow up eating cheese, so whether they eat it when they're young or the special occasion, they feel like they have an understanding, and from that they want to share. I never find anyone to be closed-minded about it. I may have a discussion when people say, I don't like goat cheese because it's too flavorful, or I don't like blue cheese, but in reality, they're inquisitive, and if you can make it something that's accessible or compared to something in their life. Like I talk about blue cheese like a Bordeaux wine. If they're wine drinkers, I say if you get to Bordeaux, you can get to blue. Kathy is, uh, she's open, she's uh, honest, she's, uh, she arrives directly at the point, she's passionate and uh, she goes deep. She goes directly into the, the cheese factory and she wants to know the people because this is about people. This is about um, dream. This is about poetry. In the United States, there, we have a history of undervaluing what we put in our bodies. So we undervalue agriculture. In my parents' generation, advancement was getting away from the land. You know, industrial revolution was a positive thing and that was innovative. And now getting back to the land is what's innovative. It's cyclical, but I think it's a good cycle because We've got to respect what's going on with the earth and you know, so much of the food is agricultural and we've got to learn that we don't want to be consuming processed foods. One of the most natural things out there with four ingredients is cheese. So I think it's a, it's a good opportunity for that message to take place. I think traditional production, it reflects what's going on with the products. You can taste that there are nuances and complexity. If everything's homogenized, you don't get that variance. Usually when, when you meet a buyer, you, you see them behind the desk and 90% of the time is spent talking about the price and how low could that be. When I met Kathy and I felt the focus was on the animal breeding, the quality of the product, the selection, how you're different, Kathy's certainly unique. The most exciting thing about my work are the people. 
because they are able to achieve things through their dedication and conviction. So whether it's the farmer or the cheesemaker or the importer that's caring about getting it to you in the right manner or the team members on the floor selling that cheese, we're one whole system and we're trying to represent the integrity of the cheese. It's like a marathon. Everyone has their own little steps along the way and we have the last 200 yards to be able to put it in a customer's mouth to represent that farmer and that animal. And I'm proud of the ability to say we're, we're champions and we're curators, we're lovers of the products, that we're, we're just not selling something, we're selling something that we really care about and we're sharing it.